Hi YouTube, today we're back with the Ring Video Doorbell 3. Okay, so in the previous video, we went through what is in the box and some of the features of this. So what I'm gonna do now is obviously take it all back out of the box again, because I packed it away exactly how it came, because I'm OCD. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing set up with the app and then we will um, install it outside. So first of all, what I need is the actual doorbell itself and the battery, and we'll move the box out of the way. So what I need to do here is pull this piece of card out, I presume, or just slide the front off. Okay, so we'll slide all this paper out and the instructions say, even if your ring is wired, the battery is still required and excessive use can cause battery drain. Okay, so what we need to do here is slide the battery in, like so, and we'll just pop the cover back on for the moment. Thank you very much. Okay, so inside the Ring app, we've gone to devices and selected set up a device. So we'll choose doorbell. And what we need to do now is scan the QR code on the doorbell itself. Now in the app, it has my other address. Uh, so we need to set up a new location. So we'll do that now. Create a new location, and I'll just pop the address in here. Okay, so it's asking if the light is spinning on the app. Yes, it is, so we'll select that. And it's now asking me if I want to join the Wi-Fi that the ring doorbell is emitting. And now I just need to select my Wi-Fi. Okay then, so the doorbell is now connected to the Wi-Fi and obviously paired with the app. That was pretty simple and straightforward. So it's just saying now that it is updating the firmware on the Ring doorbell. That will take up to 15 minutes. So we'll just wait for that to happen. The Ring doorbell is installing an update. When the light stops flashing, it's ready to use. Thank you very much. Okay, so that is all set up and the firmware has installed. So what we're gonna do now is physical installation. Um, we're just gonna have a quick look on the app, see what it wants us to do. Want help to do it? Mm, no, I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, chime connection. Did I wire it to a power source? No, no, but I might do it at a later date. I do already have another chime. I've just got to get it here. So yeah, that's it. Motion settings. Let's get motion working for you. Other steps or a hill leading up to your door. Um, there's one or two, not a lot, so I'll just put no for the moment. Does your door face a busy street? No. Nope. And how far should movement be monitored? Five to 15 feet. Uh, continue. Would you like to customize your motion zones? Okay, so we're on to motion frequency. How often should this device check for motion? Uh, we'll select regularly for the moment and we'll see how it does with the battery. As I've said, um, I will hopefully have this powered up directly at a later date or I may get the solar surround. Okay, so motion settings are saved. Continue. Shared users. Skip for now. It's only going to be me that's going to be monitoring it. So everything is ticked. 
Okay, so that is everything set up so far. Obviously, we're still in setup mode. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take the battery back out, get that on a full charge, and then we'll install it by the front door. Okay, so in this installation, uh, we're gonna be using the slightly angled bracket, and that's gonna go around about here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark some places on the wall with a marker pen. Obviously, use the drill bit that came in the kit a couple of holes, put the wall plugs in, screw this in, then fit the doorbell itself to the plate. Okay, so now we have the holes drilled, obviously we just tap in the wall plugs so they're completely flush. And then using two of the longer screws that came with the kit, we just screw the angled bracket into the wall plugs. Okay, so just before you put the last couple of turns in to make the screws really tight, just get a spirit level and obviously just make sure that is perfectly dead straight and level and your picture will be dead straight and level. So I'm happy with that. So just put the last couple of turns in there. Okay, so that's nice and level now. So finally, what we're gonna do is use the last four screws to mount the doorbell to the wedge. Okay, so that's nice and securely fixed to the wall now. So all we need to do is insert the fully charged battery, put the face plate on, and then using the security torque screws that came with the pack, and the security Torx screwdriver. We just put a small screw in the bottom there to keep the face plate on. And that's the job, well done. Okay folks, so that is the Ring Video Doorbell 3. If you do wish to purchase one of these, there'll be a link in the description below where you can purchase one from Amazon if you wish to do so. Also links for the solar surround, the power pack, and the door chimes. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.